Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about the process of zinc extraction from its ore. All right. So the first step is actually knowing what the ore is. All right. The ore is zinc sulfide, which is ZNS, or it's known as zinc blend. And the first step in the extraction process is actually roasting it. So what I mean by roasting is um, I'm going to heat it in air, very hot air. So what's going to happen is the zinc sulfide is going to react with oxygen to form zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide. All right, so to balance the equation, we put the two. So the sulfur dioxide produced um, can be used for the contact process to produce sulfuric acid or um, some other reason. But our main focus is actually on the zinc oxide. So the next step is actually the extraction process. And I have two methods for this. All right. The first method is via the blast furnace, and the second is via electrolysis. So I'll go through each of them. So in the blast furnace method, similarly to iron, uh, it's going to react with coke, which is carbon, because uh, carbon is a very good reducing agent, so it can reduce zinc oxide to zinc alone. So in this blast furnace, at the top, carbon is going to be added in along with zinc oxide. And hot air will enter via here. So that's where the reaction happens. So zinc oxide can react with carbon or coke to get zinc and carbon monoxide. What can also happen is zinc oxide can also react with the carbon monoxide to produce zinc and carbon dioxide. So that's two uh, steps of it. So next part, um, because it's very hot over here, so it's around 1500 degrees Celsius and the boiling point of zinc is actually 907 degrees Celsius. So what's going to happen is the zinc produced will be vaporized up to here where it can be condensed and collected in its molten state. And of course, the waste gases would be escaping via here. All right, so that's the process of the blast furnace. Let's move on to the electrolysis process. OK, so for electrolysis, the first step, you're going to have to react zinc oxide with sulfuric acid to produce the soluble zinc sulfate and water. So this is zinc sulfate is actually what we're going to electrolyze over here. Okay, so you have your anode and your cathode here. So what happens at the anode Hydroxide ion is going to be discharged. So 4 OH- would give you water, oxygen, and electrons. Our focus here is the cathode, actually, because that's where zinc is produced. So zinc ion will receive the electrons and form zinc metal, which can be collected over here. So 
Um, they used to prefer the blast furnace method, but right now they are moving on to electrolysis method because it yields a very high purity of zinc. Alright, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video.